This lecture compares hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy with athletic heart syndrome. Patients with hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy often have a family history of the disease since it is a genetic condition with an autosomal dominant inheritance. A myriad of ECG abnormalities may be present, such as left axis deviation, pathologic Q waves, and inverted T waves. On echocardiography, the hypertrophy is usually asymmetric and greater than 13 mm in women and 15 mm in men. As well, there is a diastolic filling abnormality with a left ventricular and diastolic dimension of less than 45 mm. Following deconditioning, regression in left ventricular hypertrophy does not occur. Patients with athletic heart syndrome do not generally have a family history of the condition since it is benign and dependent on one's level of physical activity. ECG findings such as bradycardia and AV block can occur, but disappear with activity. On echocardiography, the hypertrophy is symmetric and is less pronounced than in hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. As well, diastolic filling is normal. And finally, following deconditioning, there is greater than 2 mm of left ventricular regression.